How do you transfer your Wix Premium to a new Wix site? Wix Fundamentals is back, and we're going to talk about that tonight. Hey, welcome to another Wix Fundamentals for the Wix user. It has been a while since I have actually done one of these, and I apologize. It's been really crazy here. Um, tonight we're going to go over how to transfer a premium account from one site to another. Um, this is actually a uh, user-submitted question, and so we're going to go over how to do that in the Wix platform, and then also how to do... Um, some extra steps to try to maintain as much of your rankings as possible uh, when you're basically transferring um, a site either to Wix or redesigning a site that you already have on Wix. So we're going to first go about how to transfer your um, premium, premium account and your domain from one Wix site to another. So this is pertinent if you've redesigned your current Wix site um, to a new Wix site and you want to transfer everything over. So if we go to our account, we're going to scroll down to premium subscriptions. And what this is going to do, it's going to list all your premium subscriptions within your account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Wix Fundamentals account um, as a example. So say I design, redesign the Wix Fundamentals uh, page. Okay. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to take and assign to a different site. When I click on that, now it gives me all the different sites within my account. It's going to tell me the ones on the top are the ones that are already having a premium attached to it. So obviously you don't want to connect to that. But any of these within here that are not connected will show up. This is our test site that we always use. If I click this and then click next, it's going to connect that premium to that website. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to mess up anything on my, on my current site. Um, what that should do is that should bring everything over to your site, including your domain. If it doesn't, what you can do is go to your drop down, now go to your domains. It's going to list all the different domains that you have under your account that you have connected to Wix. It's going to show all the premiums, which more than likely all of your domains are going to be connected to a premium. If for some reason it's not, then you can go ahead and, and uh, it'll show down here where it says unassigned domains. So if I take this, assign to a site, again, it's going to give me all the premiums that I can connect to. It's also going to show the non-premium. So obviously you cannot connect a domain to a non-premium and have it show. So we're going to look back at our, at our premium account, find the one that we want to connect it to. Click this, next, and it's automatically connected. So that's how to go about connecting your Wix site that you've redesigned to that new site. So now say we've connected everything. Okay, so we want to, we've, now we want to make sure we maintain as best as possible our, our, uh, Rankings in, in Google. We're going to do what they call a 301 redirect. I did an entire web uh, how-to on the 301 redirects, but this is just kind of a, a refresher. So we'll go into our our site. I believe on the on the uh, 301 redirect how-to, I also showed about um, using a program to gain all as, as much information about that old site as possible. Um, 
but we're going to go over that as well, just in case I didn't. I did that video a long time ago, and I don't remember exactly what I had on there. So I'm going to uh, post a link um, underneath in the description for that um, how-to as well, just in case I miss anything. So we open up our test site. We're going to go to our get found on Google. So once get found on Google opens up, we're going to see on the side here, SEO, get found on Google um, and SEO tools. We're going to go down to the URL redirect manager. So what this does is it uh, redirects people to the correct URL when they put in the old URL. Um, it's also a 301 redirect. So that also tells uh, Google that, hey, this is a uh, new page, not a brand new site. Helps with your, with your rankings. And then all you're going to do is put in the old URL and then what it should redirect to. Um, you can also do a, a, a group redirect, so that's a where it's a, a longer um, site name, you can do that as well. Single, re single redirects, more than likely for most of us, are what we're going to use. Now, how do we get this information? How do we get the, the old uh, URLs, the old page titles, all that stuff? So I use, it's called Screaming Frog. Um, it's a free, free, uh, program to use. It's made by uh, SEO Spider. Um, they have a paid version. I don't necessarily think you need to get the paid version, but uh, it's up to you. Um, what you can't see in here because the the screen shot is not tall enough. Um, there's a box on the top of Screaming Frog to add your um, website. And then it crawls it real quick, and then you get, again, you can't see because I didn't make the page tall enough. You have your internal, ah, there we go, your internal uh, links, external links, so anything that's linked out. So what you're going to want to know is, one, your internal, so that's going to give you all of the um, URLs that are on the current site. And then you're going to want the page titles. So it gives you the URL and the page title. And it also gives you the meta, the meta description. So Wix calls this the page description. It's the same idea. Um, you can go even further in your designs and make sure that your H1 tags, your H2 tags all line up. Um, the more you get this similar, if not exact, to the old site, the less likely you're going to lose um, rankings in Google. Anytime I have a client that I'm moving from, say, WordPress to Wix or Squarespace to Wix, I let them know that they will have an SEO hit. There is no way of stopping it. There's no guarantee that it's not going to happen. Uh, so I always tell my clients, you know, be ready to see a slight hit. Um, that hit should eventually go back to, to where it was before, if not get higher. So um, you can tell your clients that you may see a initial hit and that's okay. Um, that within a few weeks that should negate and should be back to where it was before. Um, I don't ever guarantee any rankings when it comes to SEO. Um, I do my best. I can honestly say that I'm not a, um, I'm not perfect on it on SEO and I really don't think many people are. Uh, Google in itself is its own uh, monster and it has its own recipe and they like a good cook, they don't give out their recipe. So, um, we do the best we can when it comes to researching SEO and using the best tactics, but 
we're all using an educated guess. So that's a quick um, how to on to how to not only transfer your premium account to a new um, site on Wix, as well as then what to do when after you do that to try to keep your um, your rankings as best as possible. If it's a Wix to Wix transfer in the sense that you're just transferring your um, your page or your your design to a new design, it should not be much, if at all, a hit on your SEO as long as you keep everything the same. Uh, the way Google looks at a Wix site is a little bit different than it looks at, say, a WordPress site. Um, so it should be, you shouldn't see much, if any, hit on your on your SEO. Um, but still do all this just to be safe. Still do all your 301 redirects. I don't, if, if even if it's a Wix to Wix um, transfer, I still do all this just to be safe. It's a good practice to do. Um, but you shouldn't see nearly as much of a hit as say you're transferring someone from WordPress over to over to Wix. So um, just keep that in mind. Again, thank you for watching. Sorry it took me so long to do one of these videos again. Um, hopefully I get back to this more with uh, doing these more, more than likely probably more monthly. I was doing them weekly for a while. Uh, more than likely more monthly now. Um, don't forget to head over to uh, wixfundamentals.com. There you can uh, ask me questions directly. I tend to respond within a few hours, if not a day, uh, giving you some type of idea of what to fix it, um, to what, to what it takes to fix your issue. If I need to go in and fix it for you, not a problem. We can do that as well. Uh, there's also a uh, form on the wixfundamentals.com uh, website that allows you to give me an, uh, an idea for a video. I'm always looking for ideas for videos. Um, try to keep the videos more on the, the beginner to intermediate um, questions. Uh, when it comes to Wix code and stuff like that, I am not good at all with Wix code at, at yet. That's one of my goals for 2020 and 2021 um, is to get a little bit more acclimated to Wix code. Um, so if you have any Wix code, code questions, I, I recommend you reach out to uh, the Wix code queen. You can check her out on, on Facebook, on uh, you can look her up on Google. Um, she's really good when it comes to Wix code. So uh, any Wix code questions, look at look at her. Um, any design questions, any um, basic Wix editor questions, Wix editor issues, feel free to email me. Um, email me. You can use the uh, the forms on the website. Either way, get in contact with me and uh, I'll try to figure it out for you. So um, thanks again for watching and uh, have a great night.